So this is a video for all you ladies out there that want a more sexually fulfilling experience. My name's Charlene Douglas. You might recognize me from E4's Sex Clinic. I'm the TV counselor. So I thought I'd do this video to speak to women about some of the issues that they might be facing um, and some of the reasons that I will see women in my practice. So one of the main issues are issues around orgasms. So whether you're a woman that has never ever had an orgasm or experiences pain when having penetrative sex, I can help you to deal with some of those issues. I can help you to understand your body, to speak to your partner, to communicate what it is that you like sexually and to help you to bring sexy back. So let's talk about anorgasmia or issues having orgasms. So how many times have you faked an orgasm? Or maybe you don't fake it anymore. Maybe you just accept that you just can't have an orgasm. But are you really enjoying your sexual experience? That's not to say that you can't enjoy sex without having an orgasm, because of course we all know that you can. But if you feel like you really want to have an orgasm, then it's really important to look at how you can have an orgasm. So let's look at this as a scenario. You're having sex with your partner. Your partner comes, he has an orgasm, she has an orgasm, and then you cuddle up together and you fall asleep. But how are you really feeling? Maybe it makes you feel really sad or, or quite isolated, just quite alone. Maybe you avoid having sex so you just don't have to experience this feeling. So what if I told you that you can actually have an orgasm because you are missing out on something truly mind-blowing? So there are a host of reasons that women struggle to orgasm. Maybe you're stressed at work. Maybe you're stressed in the relationship. Maybe you're stressed with the kids. There could be a number of reasons. And it's really important to explore what some of those reasons are. So did you know your beliefs and values around sex and the way that you're taught about sex can have an impact on your body, can have an impact on the way you orgasm or not orgasm? So if, for example, if you were taught that sex was dirty, something that only married couples should do, or if you're maybe in a homosexual relationship and you were taught that that was wrong, then your body holds on to things like that and that can affect your ability to orgasm and to enjoy sex. So what's really important is to look at, are you having the right type of sex for you? A lot of women say that penetrative sex works for them to some extent, but most of the time it doesn't. How confident do you feel telling that to your partner? Do you prefer oral sex? Or do you sometimes feel a little bit silly when he asks you or she asks you to perform something that you're not really comfortable with? All these things play a part in how your body responds sexually. So sometimes we can make excuses and we can say that we're not really stressed or we really enjoy the sex that we're having with our partner, but our body really holds on to what we're really experiencing. So let's work together to look at what's holding you back from really having an orgasm. It's also a good idea just to see your GP if you really are worried about orgasms, just to make sure there's no medical issues there. So one of the other issues that you might be facing is issues around painful sex. So maybe when you're having penetrative sex, it feels quite painful. So first things first, do make sure that you check with your GP to make sure there are no medical issues. So there are many reasons why you may experience painful sex. One reason could be linked to sexual trauma. A memory could be triggered when you're having sex and that could have an impact on your ability to experience sex pain-free. So what you might find is that you might be experiencing painful sex because there is fear around maybe having a baby or about catching an STI, or feeling so stressed and anxious that you're not able to become physically aroused. So I urge you not to suffer in silence. Why should you be experiencing pain when what you should be experiencing is pleasure? So now let's look at low sexual desire. Maybe you find that you're making excuses so you don't have to have sex. Maybe you're watching a movie downstairs waiting for your partner to be asleep and then creeping in the bed just when you hear him snoring. Maybe your baby's still sleeping in the bed with you and your partner, even though your baby's now eight years old. So if some of these issues resonate with you, you are the perfect person that I can help. And of course, women can have low sexual desire for a whole host of reasons. It could be due to the menopause, or maybe just haven't had a baby. So maybe you put on weight and you don't feel very sexy, or maybe you don't feel very comfortable or very safe with your partner, or maybe you're not comfortable with some of the sexual experiences that your partner is asking of you. Why not try these four steps to understand why it is that you're experiencing low sexual desire? Step one, go to your GP just to make sure there's no underlying issue. Step two, speak to your partner and explore what some of the issues might be. Step three, work on building on intimacy and take away the pressure of actually having sex. And step four, 
take some time to really think about what type of sex do you really enjoy? There are all versions of sexual play to include kissing, cuddling, fondling. You can really choose what you want to do. You don't always have to have penetrative sex. So hopefully this video has helped you, but if you'd like to delve further into any of these issues, then please get in touch. I offer a free initial consultation where we can talk through your issues and I can see how I can help you.